a great renovation, which included two fireplaces. Well, if your fireplace needs a facelift, Sharon is here to show us how to paint it, whether it's wood, tile, or brick. And I know for us, our fireplace is getting in heavy rotation right now. Yeah. <laughs> I sit in front of it every night, so you're looking at it constantly. And if you're thinking, okay, it's time for a refresh, yeah. you actually have ways to refresh all these different faces. Without completely gutting it, you yes. know, and starting from scratch. So, absolutely. So, there, there is different materials, and they all require a little bit more, you know, work in different ways. Mm -hmm. But wood is pretty typical, and the one one of the ones that we showed in the makeover was just it was previously painted white. Yeah, we painted it black. Nice, and it just felt much more contemporary. There it is. Um, modern. It looks like it's new. It looks different because it calls out the lines and the detail in it when you yes. paint it black. We went with a bit of a satin. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show like, if you have a really kind of dated wood, that can also be a little bit more work than just painting over it. But sand it down because it's got a bit of gloss. Yeah, sand it down. Um, prime it. Yeah. I would use, you could either use the advanced primer or you could use sticks if you've still got a little bit of a sheen on it and you want to be safe. I, I like sticks for that. Yep. So prime it. Let it dry. I, I would let the primer dry a little bit longer, maybe 12 hours, even though it's water based, it dries pretty quickly, just to cure. Okay. And then two coats of black advanced. And what I wanted to point out is that we now have this ready mix black, and I absolutely love it. Okay, it what comes, was it before? It, you have to tint it. And as we were talking about oh. with white, we need to tint, tint, tint. So the black, this is a really, really nice, strong black. It doesn't yes. have a bit of a charcoal. It's black. So I've been using that quite a bit now and I thought it looked awesome and it covered actually really well too. So. Oh, it's really <laughs> nice. And I like the fact that the surround matches the screen and the before the after shot that we right? saw. Like that to me makes it looks, everything looks very seamless. So that's lovely. Yes. Okay, so uh, so wood is good. Let's look at tile. Tile. Now um, I have a photograph of another project that we just did recently. Again, yeah. another beautifully painted white house. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to paint everything out and they were going to nice. actually replace the tile and I was like, you know what? If you, you don't, don't mind to. painting it, it it's saves you some money. So again, when you're painting over tile, it depends on the type of tile. In that case, it was more of a rough finish, so it was quite easy to paint. Okay. But sometimes you end up with like a really glossy finish on the tile. That can be a little bit trickier, but you still can paint it. So I still scuff it up a little bit with yeah. like a 60 or 80 sandpaper. Yeah. Then definitely use sticks primer. Okay. And this actually sticks to hard to paint surfaces and then allows you to paint over top. So again, once that's dried, I used Advance in just sort of a, a beigey cream color that's called clay beige. Okay. And again, a shiny finish. So again, you get the durability and the nice thing with the satin finish is if you do need to clean it, it's easy to easy to wash and, and nice. clean up. And we even did the hearth as well. It was a stone hearth that's lovely. and we painted that as well. Did you put so does when you put the primer on, does it give it that chunkiness, that texture? It gives it so yeah, and can you feel it, Trace? Yeah, I can, can sort of feel, feel it there. Yeah. So it's got a little bit of texture also because I sanded I like it a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, so it's quite nice. And and just use, you know, a regular roller. You could use a high density foam roller if you want the smoothest finish. Okay. But for this I would use a roller. For the wood, I tend to use a brush if it's got detail like that one did. Right. And then brick. Brick. Okay, so this is the one that might be freaking people out a little yes. bit. So <laughs> take a look at the before and after. You can do brick. Look at that. Looks Ooh, I love brand it. new, right? Really like even nice. the wood looks better because the brick was painted. Right. So so again, when it comes to brick, it'd be a little bit trickier. Um, nobody wanted to give me a piece of their brick wall. So weird. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so know why. Strange. So I found why. this wonderful photograph brick. It looks really real. Yeah. Um, obviously that was easier to paint. But what I want to stress is that you need, especially if it's wood burning, you need to <clears> clean that soot. Yes. Okay, so it's a bit more intensive than the other finishes. Clean it with some TSP, a good concentration, water, yeah. rinse it off, and then brick is obviously very porous, mm -hmm. so you want to let it dry for a good 24 hours. Okay. These nice heavy duty rollers, it's like a 25 mil pile, they can do a pretty good job, but you're still not going to be able to get into some of those deep crevices. So right. I keep my old yucky brushes for things like this. Yes. So after you've primed it, and you don't have to prime it, but sometimes it's so porous that all the paint is going to go into the brick. So priming is a good idea. And it's going to feel like you're doing no work exactly. at all. Exactly. So, so just prime, prime it, it once and then maybe one coat, maybe two coats, but then get your brush into those deeper crevices or into the okay. mortar on that brick and then roll over with your um, with your heavy duty high pile brush. And I wouldn't use a shiny, ugh, I wouldn't use a shiny, shiny finish. One. I would use a matte so it feels more like the brick. So either yeah. a matte or even an eggshell. Okay, brick. lovely. Okay. okay, see, there's nothing she can't solve. Absolutely. Have you painted a fridge yet on the show? I have. Never mind, she's got it all. Have you done a toilet? Have you done a toilet? No. Okay, maybe we'll do a toilet in 2020. <laughs>